Hello, hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Google Training Center. So today we're going to discuss about part two, introduction of BBU. So let's look through the physical structure of BBU. The BBU basically is a centralized unit that manages the overall system of a base station. We have varieties of BBU type. So over here, we have BBU 5900 series and we have BBU 3910 and 3900. So it has its own dimension and weight. And also, there are two types of BBU. We, we name it as case-shaped BBU. The example you are looking at here is case-shaped BBU. That is another type which is known as integrated BBU. So that will be more suitable for an outdoor BBU which will be covered in the next upcoming slide. Let's go through the logical structure of BBU. The BBU which is divided into several categories 3900 series, 3910 and 5900 series has a modular design that consists of three subsystems in terms of the logical functions. The three subsystems are control, transport and baseband subsystem. So over here we have the control subsystem, we have the transport subsystem and we have the baseband subsystem. In addition, there is a clock module, there is a clock module, power module, fan module and CPRI interface to support the running of the BBU module. Next, we're going to go through about BBU slot assignment and the bots. A BBU has 11 slots. The following figures shows different bots in a BBU. So let's go through one by one by different BBU. The first BBU is 5900 series and the Second BBU type is 3900 series together with 3910 series. When I compare with the 5900 series in terms of the slot assignment, if you notice, the fan has a fixed slot. The power supply unit, UPEU, are also configured in a fixed slot. So, respectively, Slot 19 is dedicated for UPEU, the power supply unit, and slot 16 is dedicated for the fan unit. How about the other? For BPU 5900 series, on the left hand side, we have slot 0, 2, 4, and 6. This is using the even numbers. When I compare this with the 39 series on the left hand side, we start with 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this is following the sequence. So that is the difference in terms of the numbering. When I compare this on the right hand side, for 5900 series, we start with the odd number 1, 3, 5 and 7. And for the 3900 series, we have the sequence by 4, 5, 6 and 7. So let's now go to the bot level. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have three types of the subsystem. For the control subsystem, the bot that is related to the control subsystem is UMPT card. For the baseband subsystem, we have the UBBP bot. This is for the baseband resource bot and USCU is for the clock system. It is known as the Universal Satellite Clock Unit. These are the type of bots that we have for BBU 5900 series and the similar function we have in the 39 series also, just the difference of the slot assignment. UMPT also serves the transport subsystem. So we have the control, the baseband and the transport subsystem. All the three subsystems are covered over here. So next, we're going to discuss about BBU 5900 series A. What is the difference between the previous one in comparison with this structure? BBU 5900 series A is known as a outdoor BBU. It doesn't need any 
cabinet. There is no cabinet needed over here. So this will be install outdoor. It has its own dimension and its own configuration. Let's look through the logical structure of the outdoor PPU. It uses a modular design. It consists of the baseband subsystem, power and mechanical subsystem, transmission subsystem, interconnection subsystem, main control subsystem, monitoring subsystem, and clock subsystem. So this is the main processing and transmission unit. Then we have the fan unit. We have the power unit. Power and environment interface unit. We have the baseband unit. We have the BBU interconnection and the clock system. The BBU 5900 series A slot assignment is slightly different. The boards are slightly different than the previous one. It has 8 slots. In comparison, on the earlier one, we have 11 slots. The assignments for different boards are as below. So you'll notice we only have UMPT card and we have UBBP card. But the UPEU and the fan are still in the fixed slot. There is an additional fan added at slot 70. And UPSU is the power module for this whole blade PBU. Let's look through the blade side. The blade side is a solution for an outdoor blade BBU 3910A series, which is used in a DBS 3900 base station. This blade side is composed of a blade unit, blade RRU, blade power module, and a blade battery cabinet. So this is the blade unit. We have the blade RRU, blade power module, and the blade battery cabinet. BBU 3910 is also similar to an outdoor BBU. It is known as a multi-mode digital unit processing signal of a base station. It has a universal multi-port digital unit, which is known as a UMDU, provides main control module, transmission module, power module, clock module, baseband module, interconnection module, and monitoring module. So below is the dimension of BBU 3910A. Let's look through the capacity spec in the FDD network for BBU 3910A. We have three main models, A1, A2, and A3. They have their own cell level, respectively. They have the maximum throughput. So if I compare with A1, it has the least throughput. When I compare with the A3, which has the highest throughput in an inode bit. The maximum number of UEs are the same for all the three models. And also the data radio bearer are also the same for all the three modules. Let's compare with TDD network for BBU 3910A. There is only two models which is compatible with this mode. A1 and A3. So they have their own cell capacity. The throughput are also the same. A1 is 825 megabits per second and A3 is 1800 megabits per second. The maximum UE in RRC connected mode in TDD is also the same. 3600 and the DRB data radio bearer is also similar like FDD. Now we're going to discuss the product difference. So we have learned about different BBUs, the case-shaped BBU and also the integrated BBU, which is the blade BBU. So the models are, for the case-shaped BBU, we have BBU 3900 series, we have 3910. So this is equivalent to a case-shaped BBU concept. So it has its own performance, its own dimension, and it only can support the 3900 series space station. Where else, when I compare with 5900 series, this is also a case-shaped BBU. But 5900 series A is actually an integrated BBU. And this is applicable for outdoor scenarios. And it also continuously expanded by increasing the board capacity. This integrated BBU is applicable for the 
DBS 5900 series base station. Whereas the case shape will be used for 5900 series is only applicable for 5900 series base station, including the lab side. However, the BBU selection by the operators is depends on their own network requirement. So they still have to refer back what does their network need and based on that, they will decide on which type of model they have to choose. That's all from me. Let's go through the summary of this part two. We have discussed about physical and logical structure about BBU units. We have also learned about BBU 5900 series and BBU 5900 series A blade side product differences. And we have learned about blade side BBU 3900 series A. So that is a quiz question here. A blade side is composed of a blade BBU3910, a blade RRU, a blade power module and a blade battery cabinet. So what is the answer? True or false? The answer is true. That's all from me. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.